sound nice. Uh, obviously, if people we are, it's at secretenergy.com. The university is going on. That's secret energy for slash enroll. And there's a lot of stuff happening. I and mean, just really realize for me, it's real in the field. All I'm doing is I'm documenting what I'm experiencing. This has been going on for six or seven years now. I got some, I got my feet in this, meaning I'm grounded more. And so it's really easy now for me to get us through, and I have no problem with doing that. That's, that's what I'm designed to do. Any of, the, any of the bridge work, and that's what also I, I would just say that we all have that responsibility to be a bridge. Because sometimes, and we're not saying you've got to go down to the, the, you know, the dark world or whatever. So that's somebody else. They, that's maybe what they get to. That guy that used to live to Megan Death all the time and decided it was just time to be done with it. That he went all the way into the high level, and now he's not scared to see any of that kind of stuff because that's all he was dealing with. So then he becomes the one that goes and pulls everyone out of Megadeth's frequency that wants to get out of there. He's the one that still harmonizes with that reality, but he's now built himself a bridge to another reality. They call that a bridge to the light. So this is all we are. That's what the DNA is doing. It's building bridges across the abyss. It's like a huge net. And so we either get entangled by the net, right? Or we start moving through the net. And I mean that in every way. In order to get out of the spaces and times, you got to be able to pass right through them. And when you have no judgments, you have nothing sticking to you. Because the moment you judge, the moment you make a choice, you become stuck there. And then you start to focus on that. And that's what William was saying in the observer world. Well, don't think it's easy. This is like saying, oh, did you see that? And then now you can't see it anymore. This is like saying, oh, I feel that. And now you can't feel it anymore. <laughs> this is it's, it's like a surfer. It's like trying to ride a wave, this energy. But by all means, let us go through this training. Very well said, Seven. Um, I stopped the clock here so we can continue going as long as you'd like. Uh, what I do want to ask you, though, and I don't know how much time you have, so just let me know whenever you need to go. But I do want to ask you, we, we talk a lot about manifestation and manifesting events and even physical things in our lives it's it's a spiritual and energetic alchemy which is basically what we're all trying to achieve to make our lives a little bit better make the world around us a little bit better make the world around us a little bit better for other people but um for the listeners out there seven i i know this is a really big question but where do they begin to start with these manifestations i mean can maybe you can even give us some examples on some of the things that you've been able to manifest Let's make it very simple. Like what you're really looking to do is just cultivate energy because the energy is what's needed to make the manifestation happen. And then the actual faculty that's used to manifest something that actually becomes out perfect rather than the monkey's ball or something that you don't want, doesn't, it, it's not attached to the mind. So the main thing that personally what I do is I just build energy through the breathing and through those kind of techniques. So that way I'm, I see, I see this visually. I don't, I don't take the small pieces of it of, you know, I need a new car or I got to get out of this apartment. What I look at is how much energy do you have because that's your current. That's why they call it current C. That's what controls most of what people can do around the world, right? It's the alchemical correspondence of dirt into gold that was created as, a, as it being an identical. It's, that's what they call it, a dollar or a doll. A doll. It's an actual, it's supposed to be identical to what a human being is, but a talisman, a piece of paper. It's got the signature on it. It's got the magnetic strip. It's got every single, it's got the, the trees. It's got everything that it needs to become alive. That's the God. And, but the God is, it, you see, it's real because <laughs> it's functioning throughout the world. So the current in the body, so you have to look, you, you know, you have to look exactly at how that began and what that's synonymous to. What is the as above nature to it so let's just not assume that there's not money in heaven per se let's just assume that there's another correspondence to it and that's energy so based on the person's root chakra and how much energy the root chakra can give off so that it can burn up the toxins and also put a light into the netherworld the body is a map so the legs are the netherworld the upper part of the body is is, is you know it is what it is so that central area which is like the hearth it that's really where your passion is and all of that that comes in that gives you the energy that's necessary to penetrate through these manifestate and bring these manifestations through. So, and so just briefly, there's an inception point. That's when the idea is conceived. When you think of the idea, then there is the act, whatever the act is that actually creates the signature of, of attempting to bring this idea through the realms. Once, if that act is strong enough, and this is why kids are born because of the passion between when the two came together, it gives off a light. And when that light is given off, 
The being flies into it. The subjective force magnetizes to it. And it comes in as an incarnation. So this process, then, in order to get control of it, you need basically just a fuel canister, if you may, something to be able to regulate how you're gliding through these spaces and experiences. And so that's really what the real horoscope astrology or astronomy really was. It's looking at basically the map to the future so you can s determine where you're going to go next. Like, you can't just get on the freeway and keep driving straight. You know, you're going to hit something. So what this stuff is, and it, it's even being discredited now, but what, what all this is, and you can see it in the astrolabe, it's just the, co it's the coordinates to calculate your process and wherever you want to go based on what frequency you want. It's like it's a real time machine. We, you know, we're through the way, you know, our jewels have been robbed. This is the simplest way to explain it. If you want to understand it metaphorically from if anyone wants to call them the forces and all this crazy stuff. But truly, your chakras, which are your memories, those are the gems. They can be taken by ideas and eidolons, you know, other things that want to take your power. And then it's not about you anymore. Like, it's not about your story, it's about Jesus' story, and about Muhammad's story, and about God's story. And the story is no longer central. So when you don't have a central part of the vortex, this is like a tire that whops. It's like off. So it can't get above a certain speed. You know, you try to take a car with an imba dis imbalance up to a certain speed, it can't get over that speed. So what you got to do is you, what, you balance it out. You put weights on it. This is symbolic of the troubles and even the, in the workout, the weights that you add to get larger and stronger. You know, whatever technique that you're using. And so even you could sit there, you know, and this is just about how stressed out you really are about the situation and how much you feel like you can do something about it. That's what I'm trying to get to here is that the motivation becomes the key because all of this stuff, it's an idea. If I give you an idea that you just won a million dollars and you really believe it's happened, we talk about this, you're not even going to go to sleep. You're going to be feeding off this energy that is really superfluous or it's non-existent. But that's how we work. If we're excited about meeting somebody and we can't wait to see her or can't wait to see him, that energy is real and tangible. And, and it's all cooked up by our minds. So that can be times 10. It can be times 15 when we get, gain back control of who we are. And then that's what I'm saying. So, the, so that kind of energetic potential is enough to birth something. Because what does the birth have? What does it correspond to? Labor. <laughs> so you got a lot of people, they want to manifest, right? But they don't want to work. Oh, this is dangerous. Because that's actually what leads to this fake magic. <laughs> Basically, believing that it was created by another force. And then giving that force credit that it actually created it. So now what you're doing, that's why all those words are related to banking. You've now given credit to something else. So it's now broke. That's your broker. It broke your energy cycle, basically. It becomes that Eve angel or what's between you and the source. It's governing you. The bodies can even be this way. Anything can take on that persona if it gets out of control. The easiest way to get, you know, if things are, you want things to change, you drop weight. And it's always going to be plasma. Like, you just find plasma. And where plasma is too slow, and you reduce it from all of your intake. This even is water. Water is another form of plasma. You distill the water, remineralize, or, you know, I'm not even going to get into that, but river water, spring water, that's clean, whatever. You go back to the elements and get the purest sources of those elements. You're on a mission. This is like now MacGyver. You got to find the parts. <laughs> so this is why it's called the quest. Like I, I, there's no, oh, it's going to be okay. Or here, get this this poem and this mantra and this trinket, and you're going to be. You see how many thousands of people? The thing is that I'm a good observer. So if the trinkets. And the stuff, the mandalas, even though those do go to another world when you get on the right frequency. But if those things were really so useful, then you would see hundreds and hundreds of thousands of people that were going into the higher levels of consciousness. The most useful things is being in your right, left mind, meaning being back in the center of yourself and at the wheel rather than being, a, a being looking at everything else and how everyone else is functioning and trying to compare that to yourself. Because when you're in infinity... And you're trying to figure out how you want to be next to infinity. You don't have a stable point. 
And we've all been through this. This is like the, even the first part of the awakening. You're, you're so not grounded. You didn't bust through the crowd chakra. You, and then everyone's just having a hard time harmonizing with you. You let everyone go because you're no longer on their frequency. And then for a while, that seems like where you want to be. But the real ones, there's a certain point where they, they have to come back. They have to do their work. That's when the compassion kicks in. It's like, you know what? This is great. This is fine. It's dandy. I just saw something even walk through the ocean. You know, I know how to take myself out the back door by holding my breath. I can get right out of my body within a couple of breaths. But all of this is nothing if my friends can't enjoy it. What happened to my friends? See, when I was younger, like we still have, I have friends. This is what we get now. Like, that's why I see the progressive. Like, I deal with frequencies and all sorts of things. So there's a progressive wavelength that you see that people aren't close like they used to be. A friend will let you go like that. You do one thing to a friend, bam, he's just gone. But back in the day, and we were adventurers. We went into fear together. As long as we were going together, we would go together. And if nobody has that experience this life, then the previous life. <laughs> Fill in the blank. Together. And so that's what this next thing is really about. It's about collapsing this whole racial prism thing. Realizing that the both opposite sides of the spectrum are really the same thing. Collapsing that prism and being responsible for the energy that actually comes with that. And then begin to take our next step as being the planet, right? Like now you're, you're now male, female, able to actually support several things with your frequency and have that foundation to where you don't just run out on them when something starts going with, I don't know, definitely not a supreme being is thinking is wrong. That's all funny. Wrong? <laughs> Imperfection? What is perfection? Shit's good for fertilizer, but horrible to eat. Show me perfection. It's just all about where you're putting this stuff. And see, again, that's the alchemy, that's the formula. So never forget that. Like if you, if you think that it's always the good, roll with the bad, it's because it's, you need to understand the weights and the measures. And then with yourself, like I said, don't get crazy about it. It could become your worst enemy, meaning just you can't eat with the folks no more. You know, you see him, he doesn't look like, what do you think he's going to look like? <laughs> meaning when you open up the third eye, you sit next to somebody who's been in the trenches all their life. What do you think you're going to see? When you pierce them with the eye of Ra, meaning that you pierce them with the eye of the sun coming from your eyes. And now nothing can lie to you. Right. Think about it. Well, we're not these bodies. We already know that. But people don't think about, well, what are we then? Well, stare in the mirror long enough on one of those vacations, one of them, one of them hike vacations and see. And then you start seeing how uneasy you get about what you see in yourself. <laughs> and this is the first thing, right? Face yourself. That's what we call an inner stand. Face your demons and put them in their place, Solomon. Build your temple. Meaning Solomon built the temple using the help of demons. It's a metaphor. All the things that have happened in your life, the negative frequency, are make up the base of the temple. Ah, yeah, I've never heard it framed like that. Well, I mean, we can frame it. Wow. I mean, you see it. It's the Cosmo Crater. It's basically the conception of the world by all of the indigenous people where... The, any, the, the being <laughs> was known as unmovable. Like when the, it, the name that was given in every language meant unmovable, meaning it's, found, it's, found, it's a solid foundation. Air's, air's not going to all of a sudden think it's water and all of a sudden think it's fire. It's holding things in place. While we get to come in, we got the breath, we got the water, we got the, the uh, heat, right? We got all these elements and we get a chance to, to play in it versus if you're absolute, that's like the parents role. It's like, oh, I got to be here for the kids. I saw it, man. I was on one. You know, I could do it through breathing. I could do it a different way. But I was on one and it was like, yeah, son, you'll be taking my place. And it was like you start realizing that the more energy that you get, it is really the more responsibility. And that responsibility has a lot to do with taking care of what's here. So it's like when you inherit the energy, you automatically inherit the role. Then, you know, your email box is going on and, you know, people are calling you. They want to get advice and, you know, everything is picking up. The current is picking up and it's because you're moving back through the vortex. And then, like I said, the ones that can pull everyone else out. See, that's when the story, you know, I'll go. You can get someone after death. That's what these mysteries say. They say that there's you can go down the tunnels of time 
as a leaper and pull and become the light that those that are lost there follow to get back to the point of where they can see again. And, but it still says that when you see them there, like they have no eyes. So you imagine you gotta, I mean, you gotta be bad. See that, that, see, that's what the aspiration was. The aspiration wasn't 